This is Twit. Sometimes uh, when we talk about AI, we assume that at so some point, AI will create mind. And uh, I don't think, I don't know if we really make the distinction between cognitive work and what we think of as mind. And I don't know if, it, if, so when you talk about the Terminator coming to destroy us, that implies mind, that implies will, that implies feelings, that implies desires. And there's no evidence at all <laughs> to date that however sophisticated an AI becomes, however smart Alpha Zero becomes, it will ever generate mind. There seems, well, there seems to be a great leap between the two. Sure. It, I don't, you know, will, so there's we a lot. We don't know, here. I guess. Uh, well, there's a bunch, there's a bunch here to think about. First, and Minsky had something called the Society of Mind, where a lot of these philosophical and existential questions were asked and he attempted to answer them. Um, so there's a bunch here. First of all, we don't know necessarily what mind uh, is, right. and and um, we we actually know very little about how the human brain works. Um, so, from a mechanical point of view, when we're talking about the architecture of AI frameworks and systems, there's a departure from the von Neumann architecture, um, and to, and into building uh, new types of networks that look and sort of function differently and require a lot more compute. Et cetera, et cetera. So that's mechanical. When we're talking about things like emotion and feeling, um, I think part of our assumption is that these are innate human traits, but we don't have any way to prove that. So if you were to, I don't know, I mean, and, and that was one of the things that the guys at Dartmouth were sort of trying to figure out. Yeah. Um, I've had this debate I, with Ray Kurzweil, of course, is a, a later era, but definitely in, in, you know, heavily influenced by Minsky, MacArthur, and, uh, uh, Shannon, but um, McCarthy and Shannon, mm -hmm. but uh, he, he says it's irrelevant. <laughs> that's, that, and that's what I was going to say. It doesn't yeah. matter because whether or not a machine feels something is not uh, actually something that I care about. A mach you know, systems making choices instead of decisions, I think is a better way to think about this. And going back to that Alpha Zero and Alpha Go zero uh, example for a moment, you know, at some point um, when the algorithm was re-released and it was learning how to play, you know, go again, and it, it got very, very fast, part of the self-improvement and replication happened because a choice was made. And the choice was to throw out the human strategy and try something totally different. So again, I, you know, we tend to conflate uh, human intelligence with mechanical, with, uh, with computational strength. Uh, and, and these newer systems, this newer age of computing. Um, and, I, and I think it, we probably should stop thinking about tr trying to replicate or fool ourselves and instead recognize AI as more of like an alien intelligence than an artificial intelligence. And, um, and, and that opens us up for the possibilities of systems making choices that we have not thought through before. And in fact, some of the people who are at the farthest, cut, most cutting edge of the field are doing exactly that. They are um, trying to find those areas of unpredictability because when, when the system starts behaving in ways that we didn't think about in advance, that is one sign of improvement or it's a measurement of, of improvement. Yeah. In fact, Alpha Zero, modern Go masters look at some of Alpha Zero's play and instead of thinking it uh, mechanistic as earlier attempts have been thought of uh, say this is art this is beautiful it's making moves we never expected that are incredibly elegant and so I mean that's obviously a value judgment but mind is really all about a value judgment I mean we don't know what it's it's funny because I think a lot of it comes down to um, kind of a, a philosophy of mind whether you whether you believe that everything that happens in the mind ultimately determines everything you feel including love and hate and joy uh it's all mechanistic brain chemistry or there is some other thing that's happening and and that's really the dividing line but as as you say as ray said what does it matter uh right. i like the idea of thinking of it as an alien uh mind just a mind well, not I, alien from outer space but alien in a way that we right. just don't understand it uh, any more than we understand ourselves to be honest with you uh, right and and part of the reason why i think that's a better a better characteristic is because when we are 
when we assume systems that we build in our image that we create are going to behave the way that we do, we are not intentionally looking for outliers and focusing on uncertainty. Um, the problem is that like name a time in history when technology didn't at some point fork and do some right. like get repurposed in some way we didn't think it, you know, evolve in some way nobody thought about in advance. So if we start thinking about AI, we can keep the same acronym, so that's fine. Nobody has to change their logos. Uh, <laughs> if, we, if, if we think about it as alien intelligence, then I think that gives us the cognitive space and the ability to say, you know what? We actually don't know. Like we can we can try to model this out, but we don't really know uh, what this is going to do. And so we're gonna we're gonna approach this with some deep curiosity. We're gonna confront uncertainty, and we're gonna try to model out some of this in advance. And maybe that means um, we're gonna have some guardrails, and we're gonna open ourselves up and do serious collaboration. Um, you know, I I think that that is a really smart way forward. Yeah, the only reason I bring it up is because uh, often the argument against AI is this kind of Terminator argument or Matrix argument where the machines become adversaries and have motives and desires of their own. Ray Kurzweil always said, oh, you don't have to worry about that. The machines are going to love us as their creators. That never satisfied me either. Uh, I think I, <laughs> no, I, I kind of prefer the notion that uh, without mind, a machine is, any AI is, is, absolutely doing what we've instructed it to do the difference is instead of telling it how to do it we give it the rules and we let it figure out how to do it itself just as we did with alpha zero 